Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. The risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a 14-day free trial of the product uh, with education, okay? Uh, it comes with the uh, Bookmap educational course. Uh, and then access to the live uh, advanced order flow webinars that start at 11 uh, Eastern time, so in about uh, 25 minutes, okay? Um, and uh, let me explain a little bit about that. Uh, the um, If we go to the YouTube page, the uh, what we're going over uh, in the in this webinar here is just kind of a, some of the intro features here. Uh, what Bookmap is showing you, some of the features and components, how to use Bookmap in the user interface, uh, and then we'll get into a little bit of the order flow phenomena that we see uh, in Bookmap. Okay, just the basics here. Um, more advanced uh, analysis of this in, in a lot of detail here. We'll get into this the kind of uh, content in the um, webinar that's uh, at 11. Okay, so. Um, uh, let's see here. It's, since it's kind of like a Friday here, we don't have any any webinars uh, Tuesday or uh, Thursday and Friday because of the U.S. holidays. Um, I'll give you the uh, link to access the Bookmap Advanced uh, webinar. Okay. All right. So you guys can get a feel for what we do during the advanced uh, order flow analysis. Okay. So uh, let's go to Bookmap.com uh, up here. Uh, click on explore and it just drops us down into this intro video uh, we, we scroll down through is just learn about bookmap uh, what's going on here uh, and um, there's bookmap for equities uh, with the uh, Nasdaq total view okay it's a great data feed uh, and um, uh, other than that though we, we connect to the uh, the futures markets okay and this is how you will connect Okay, with these uh, brokers and or um, uh, data providers. Okay, we are a true platform just like some of them that you see here, like NinjaTrader, X, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive uh, Brokers Traders Workstation. We connect also to the API of these three different platforms here. Okay, so a little bit of both, but we are a true platform just like them uh, You that you connect directly to Rhythmic or or CQG, or gain, or IQ feed, or transact. All right, uh, which is a great advantage. Okay, uh, you'll get the the data without going through the API of these other platforms. Who knows what they do with the data as it goes through their API? Uh, maybe they uh, uh, aggregate it in some strange way. Uh, you will bypass that and go directly with the data provider. Okay, that's the advantage. All right, uh, a little bit further down. Here's the pricing. Uh, and uh, this is what we're offering, okay? Bookmap Basic, it's $49 per month and it's billed quarterly. So 150 bucks for uh, three months. Uh, you get a 14 day free trial period though, okay? So you get to evaluate it, see if this is something that works for you. Uh, during that free trial, you're gonna get the access to the uh, education as well and the advanced order flow analysis webinars. Okay, that's the advantage with the trial. Um, the full benefits of a regular customer. Uh, the um, uh, Bookmap Advanced, okay, the difference between these two, basic and advanced, are the add-ons, primarily. Um, the uh, live one-click trading from the Bookmap chart, this is a real good advantage uh, because uh, you can, you can uh, uh, react very quickly to the liquidity heat map that you have in front of you, okay, that uh, you wouldn't be able to do in a regular dome. Uh, and um, we also have proprietary indicators uh, that we uh, offer, that we've developed, um, that look at order flow phenomena and very specific things like uh, understanding larger players, uh, looking for iceberg orders, detecting them, uh, understanding their larger players' position using the iceberg orders. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, some of these volume imbalances here. Um, and order book imbalances and a correlation tracker, all right? Quants, uh, you're gonna have your specific needs for your data feeds or proprietary indicators. Just reach out to us and, and click here, 
All right. Uh, if you are new to futures and you don't have a broker yet and you want to try Bookmap, though, uh, you can get a uh, like a 14 day trial uh, of um, some of these uh, data providers here. So click here. Uh, that'll take you to a page. Uh, I'll just click here. And here they are. OK, so give that a try uh, if you need a data feed uh, and then you can get the complete uh, view of all the different um, between the, the three different offerings here. Uh, with this uh, this list here, okay, that'll take you to this page here, and you can see uh, what you're getting for each one. All right. Okay, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at uh, at Bookmap underscore Pro uh, to get the most up to date information of what Bookmap is showing you uh, or news, and um, then uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube page that I showed you earlier. All right. So uh, let's take a look at Bookmap. Uh, we've been looking at the NASDAQ for quite a few days here, and it looks pretty dismal. Um, how about that S&P? Okay, S&P is actually uh, kind of in a narrow range as well, 95 to yeah, it's only four points. Right, we're not looking at much happening today, uh, so uh, we can go over a lot of different other things. Uh, but um, uh, oil, maybe we can look at oil. How's that? Uh, how's that playing out? And it's it's really not moving very much either. All right, and let's take a look at crude. Yeah, let's go with crude today. Uh, we'll take a look at crude oil. All right. Um, and um, let's see here. Um, what I want to go over, and we, we can see we have the oil inventories here. So uh, we got some fundamental data as well, which is good. We can see the volatility. Uh, something uh, interesting in Bookmap, and I'll, I, I can go through it maybe um, at the end of this webinar or uh, at the beginning of the, uh, the next one. Uh, but you can see that uh, before 1030, look how it got dark in these areas here. Okay. So they're pulling liquidity. Okay, because of the fundamental release uh, at 10:30, and you can see the volatility here. Why is there volatility? Is because there's a lack of liquidity. All right, uh, it's just uh, how the market works. So uh, anyway, uh, that said, we'll, let's just take a big step back here, and what are we looking at in the chart in Bookmap? Okay, now we do have an indicator sub panel here. I'm going to close it up though, and we're going to really simplify this. Okay, because it really is simple data. It looks very complex. It's not. It's uh, very straightforward. It's very objective view of the market. Okay, so we do have a volume subchart here, uh, and then what we have in the chart, we're just showing three different things here. One is the historical best bid and offer. Two is the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer with the volume dots. Okay, and then three we're looking at this heat map, this grayscale heat map. And what that is showing us here is the history of the auction, okay, where they were bidding and offering. And that's it. That's all we're showing here. Uh, and um, let's uh, further this uh, discussion, and we're going to turn off all of the other data here. Okay. And we're just going to look at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, the concept of a five minute candlestick chart is actually more advanced than what we're showing in book map. Okay, open, high, low, close, understanding wicks, understanding pressure, etc. And uh, the problem though with the candlestick chart is the lack of transparency. Okay, we have no idea where traders are really showing up here uh, to, uh, uh, to trade. Okay, where in this five minute candlestick chart, uh, you know, up at the top, at the bottom, how much? Uh, volume, the majority of those traders, and what type of volume? Is it, is it aggressive buying or aggressive selling? All of these questions are unanswered here in this candlestick chart. We just know that there was, like in the subchart, there was a lot of volume in the last 15 minutes. That's that's basically all we know. Uh, so um, uh, really insightful uh, information that we don't really have access to. Okay, so uh, we want that kind of access, and that's where Bookmap can help us. 
um, we solve that issue and we're going to first uh, show details in the price action by just turning on the historical best bid and offer. All right, so what we're looking at here is uh, there is no candlestick, it's just a red line is the historical best bit, uh, best offer, green is the best bid, and that's it. So let's zoom in a little bit, all right? So within this five minute period from here to here, this is actually what price did, okay? We have a very accurate view of what happened. Where this gets really insightful is understanding microstructure, okay? Uh, for example, there's some data in here that's completely lost within this five minute period. Okay, we just see that there's a, you know, we dipped down, there was a little bit of buying, that was this five minute period from here to here. Uh, and then from here to here, uh, we we see wicks on both ends and that, and then and then a body to the, you know, that shows a, a selling pressure. Okay, what all sorts of opportunities uh, occur in here that we have no insight to looking at this five minute candlestick chart. Okay. For example, right here is something we look at uh, every day in the uh, advanced order flow analysis webinars. Okay, we uh, return back to where we sharply broke from out of this range here. We went sideways in a range. We broke down. There's a vacuum usually when we break down uh, of um, uh, from a range. We usually get some sort of pullback. Okay, uh, depends on uh, the um, pressure in the market but uh, we look for a return back to where we broke from and to see if there are still sellers here, okay, or a lack of buyers, right? So we're probably gonna see one or the other here or a combination, but we're gonna see more selling at lower lows here, right? Uh, and how do I know that? It's just, this is, I mean, looked at enough of, of these charts, we, we, we know that uh, uh, that's just how order flow operates in a trend. You see more selling at lower lows and less buying at these lower highs, okay? In fact, we kind of exhaust out in some of these areas here uh, and you just see that there's price discovery to the downside. But this kind of information, I mean, we can just look at three examples of this one strategy here, uh, pulling back uh, to where we broke from, okay? We see it here. We actually see it again here. We see it again here, uh, and um, and uh, it might be uh, doing it again right now. Okay, but uh, we'll keep we'll keep an eye on that. Or we might uh, start to see buyers start to step in here. Um, anyway, um, that's what the microstructure can tell you. Okay, we actually see that little a little microstructural pattern of exactly what we're talking about right here. Here's a little structure. We broke it. We came back. We retested where we broke from, and then we continued to the downside. Okay. So, uh, understanding that microstructure already gives us tremendous insight to what's going on with price. Uh, let's put on the volume, though. Okay. And uh, here we go. All right. So, uh, we see more transactions at lower lows here. Okay. And more selling at lower lows. It's actually some buying that starts to creep in here too. So, so we're starting to see buyers uh, show up, okay? And that's what kind of leads to these turn turnarounds here that we just saw to the upside here, okay? Um, anyway, and then, uh, you know, we're looking for uh, less uh, trade act activity at some of these areas here, okay? And we are getting that. Starting to show though, buyers starting to step in here, okay? Showing some buying interest, okay? which leads to uh, these kinds of reversal patterns. Anyway, uh, what we're showing in bookmap is the aggressor classification of volume. And what do I mean by that? Let's zoom in here and just show you the simplified example. Okay, here's what occurred, all right, uh, in bookmap. And what we're showing, this is the very basics of what we're showing here, okay? Uh, we can see uh, historical best offers, the red line, historical best bid, is the green line. These green dots that you see here, okay, these occurred on the uh, on the best offer. Okay, these are aggressive market buy orders. Okay, transactions that occurred here on the best offer. Someone hit the market buy button. They crossed the spread. They paid up for it, uh, and they took liquidity. Someone that wanted to provide liquidity here on the best offer, and they wanted to be a seller. And the transaction is met here. Okay, and a green dot paints, but we're displaying the aggressor. OK, 
okay the 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 uh, the market buy uh, uh, the person who purchased with the market buy uh, order okay as they cross the spread uh, selling is the opposite okay so um, that's it that's, that, that's basically all we're showing here right and um, uh, that's if I zoom out all the way out is still all we're showing Okay. Um, we're actually showing the candlestick as well, but um, let's zoom back in here. And I just want to show um, that uh, you know we're, we're really able to zoom into these levels here and see exactly what occurred. We show every single market event. None of this data is aggregated. This is an advantage uh, because uh, uh, none of it. Uh, uh, well, mo most platforms aggregate that data in some sort of bar or rotation, etc. Instead, we're showing you every single event. I can zoom in to these levels, and uh, it gets really insightful when we look at the S&P because you'll see these trades break up into hundreds of trades in a very short period. Okay, I mean we're down at uh, microsecond level. We can continue down and zoom into nanosecond level. We're looking at billions of seconds. Okay. So this was a one lot for uh, a, a one one trade for a volume of one lot. That's it. Okay, uh, and um, we know exactly when it occurred down to that nanosecond level. So let's start to zoom out. And as I zoom out, though, look what happens to the timeline. I'm compressing it, right? And um, I compress it to a point where there's so many trades that took place here that uh, it starts to get uh, uh, a little bit, um, it doesn't really tell us much, but see how all of those trades consolidated just visually or aggreg they aggregated um, uh, just graphically into a bigger dot. Okay, that's what we do. So we, and we know by the color and size of that dot, as well as we can use this data tip tool here and hover over this dot, and it tells us exactly what occurred here. Okay, uh, we see, you know, for uh, a volume of 101. Okay, uh, at this price level, we get the date, the time, and the volume at that price level. Okay, uh, same with this one here. Okay, we can see this was for a volume of 634. Right, and we get the overall shape of it too. We so we we know about half of that is buying, half of it is selling. All right, so very much like a footprint chart, we're showing you exactly where it traded and how much and what type. Right, the difference here between us and a footprint chart, though, is none of this data is aggregated. So we can see microstructures, which is allows tremendous insight, okay? Again, because uh, we want to see the structure and how it relates to the volume, okay? So, for example, we had a little structural area here, and we see aggressive buyers pull it right back up, okay? And then we see kind of a little double top here. And look at how there was buying up here. And look at the buying up here. We're starting to exhaust out. Sellers come in and they hit the bid. Okay, so uh, uh, you know we uh, we we still kind of go sideways here, but then we find more buyers. Okay, we come up to where we dropped from here originally. Okay, and uh, let's see what occurs here. Okay, and then uh, and then we start to uh, we start to sell off. Okay, uh, but buyers step in. They step in at this point here. Okay, these little structural areas are broken, uh, and it gives us insight to the pressure uh, and position of these uh, uh, market participants. Okay, and where are they going to support price? Right. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, you know, we see structures within structures. Uh, these markets are fractal, uh, and um, we've gone through that in the advanced order flow webinars. Uh, all right, so um, anyway, we um, uh, now we have an understanding of microstructure. Look at this little structure here, broken with the aggressive buying, and we come right back down into it and still make a lower low. But we know here something has changed. We see more buyers starting to step in at a higher area here. Okay, well, I mean, it's still a lower high, but we know that there's buying interest here. That's when you start to look for maybe a change in that order flow. And, and we did get the follow through here, okay? All right, that's just the volume now. All right, let's take this candlestick off um, and uh, just look at historical best bid and offer and volume.
Okay, this alone, like I said, just because we have that structure, microstructure, and we're showing you exactly where uh, everything traded, every single event, um, is uh, is a good view. But there's something missing here. Okay, and that is where there are bidding and offering. Okay, that is important information. Right, so uh, we usually access that in the dome, and here's our dome and book map. Okay, so uh, uh, it's the current order book here. Here's our price ladder of uh, crude right here. And um, we can see where traders are lining up to sell here on the offer. Okay, 212 contracts up here at 57.60. Pretty large area of liquidity. Uh, way down here, 270 down here at um, uh, 57.30. All right, and we know that as well. Actually, let me change something here quickly. Let's go every five ticks. There we go. Okay, um, on the price ladder here. All right, so um, this is really important. It's it, This gives us great insight to the current snapshot of the auction. Okay, but these numbers are always changing, right? Liquidity is always being added and pulled. When we see these numbers change actually pretty rapidly. Okay. When they change, all this data is lost. We don't know what it was before. Okay, where Bookmap solves that issue is we uh, we do that with the heat map. Okay, and um, uh, we and this is the best bid and offer currently in in this window here. And this number is the last traded volume. Okay, so uh, and here's our best bid and offer here in the dome. Okay, so what we do though uh, in Bookmap is we paint these areas of high liquidity as being brighter All right so that's what we're looking at uh, and uh, and we can adjust for this if it's too noisy for you okay there's uh, all sorts of different ways to adjust it uh, and adjust it pretty radically if you want All right uh, now we now we can see up here at 60 there's 171 contracts okay so we we know the areas of high liquidity uh, and um, What's interesting, though, and what gives us insight to be able to use the uh, order book is um, is by recording it historically. We're able to use it now uh, in a much bigger picture, not just the current snapshot okay, in the dome. Okay, that we usually just go to the dome for that last minute to see like where where they're you know bidding and offering. Well, here we can zoom out and I can show you everything. Well, they were they were interested in buying down here. We came down, we traded into that area, and we bounced up up out of it. And then these guys, they weren't here any longer. The sellers take over. I mean, this is this is a little little different uh, to you know. We know that there was a fundamental release here at 10:30, so a little bit of a difference there. Uh, however, uh, look where we went to uh, during that release. Okay, right down to the liquidity. Okay. Uh, that's just how the market trades. Okay, uh, these areas here where there's liquidity, we see it comes down, it tests here, it bounces back up, comes down. It looks like maybe they pulled some of that liquidity and then offered or bid down here, and we come back up, hit this area of high liquidity, and come back down. Okay, now it's 5760 is where the high liquidity is on the offer. Okay, and we want to understand how they behave. Okay, if they pull, what if these guys pull here? Uh, you know, th did they want to trade? Well, we can answer that question. The answer would be no, right? Uh, they, they have no intent to trade. It would be like these guys here. They were in the book here and then they just pulled. Okay. So, uh, that's the striations. That's what you see in the, in the heat map is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay. And it gives us insight to the intent of these traders. Uh, do they really want to trade at some of these levels? We can also read very clearly areas of absorption and exhaustion, okay, uh, and and put order flow in in the auction uh, into much bigger picture and context, and that's going to give us the insight that we're looking for uh, for uh, more improved or improved or enhanced um, a trade execution and uh, and transparency into the market. All right, so let's uh, let's end it there. Um, I'm going to send you guys, and I'm going to put it into the chat here, uh, a link to the uh, webinar, the advanced order flow webinar. 
Okay, so just give me a minute here. Okay, look in the GoToWebinar chat. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, so click on that and then go register uh, for the uh, for the um, our webinar, and uh, it'll start in just a couple minutes. Okay. All right, guys. If I don't see you, well, happy Thanksgiving, uh, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you next week. Okay, take care. Bye bye.